When the second school term opens on Monday, January 11, there will be rigid guidelines for janitorial staff to follow to ensure the health and safety of all. Chief Environmental Health Officer Parker Ragnanan says a cleaning regimen has been developed by the Ministry of Health, which details when and how surface areas are to be cleaned. We recommend that uh, for cleaning and uh, disinfecting that there are one of two or both solutions that can be used. One is um, sodium hypochloride, and that is uh, 5,000 parts per million. Generally, you find sodium hypochloride in household bleach, or ethyl alcohol, 70% uh, alcohol can be used as well. And uh, there may be areas where you cannot use bleach, but you may be able to use the alcohol, and that has to be determined as well. As far as our classrooms are concerned, we are looking at, looking at ways to improve ventilation within the classrooms. And it means that if there are windows, to try as best as possible to keep these windows open, if there are louvers, keep them open, ensure that there is a constant exchange of air and there's adequate airflow within the classroom setting. If, if there are some buildings that are air conditioned, then we need to ensure that these rooms are adequately aired out. Proper garbage disposal is also being advocated and supervised. We are asking that uh, attention be paid for regular removal and disposal of garbage because we recognize uh, that some of the garbage may be a little infectious depending as to what is in there. You may have persons who dispose face masks and so forth. Um, therefore, we, we are asking for special consideration be given to the management of solid waste on the school environment and on the compound. School janitors and cleaners were asked to report to work from December 28 to 31, 2020 to ensure the proper sanitizing and cleaning of schools.